What's up, Turf Fam? Today we're doing Day of the Life. So this morning we are going to be doing something super meaningful every year before the girls' birthday. We do letters before that birthday and then when they're 18 we're going to give them those letters. So today with our Cricut we're going to be designing them with their names um, on each of their boxes. So all three kids have a box and we're going to be decorating it. It's just super meaningful oh. because <laughs> she dropped her uh -oh. at Oh no. It's gonna be super meaningful to us because when they're 18, they get to look back on all the years of their lives from our perspective and kind of remember their life on each every year. year. So it's gonna be super fun just to be able to do something together and spend time as a family. On, on this, could I? Would that be fun? Yeah, that's fine. Yay! <laughs> Let's get started. Let's get started. Here's the B. Is it on there? Yep. You sure? Yep. This is fun. It is? Okay. I don't put that one down. Just push it. I pushed it. Good job, pumpkin. Hi, Daddy. Hey, Bubba's. What does that say? Bakey, bakey. Bakey, bakey. Yep, that's my name. Yep, that is your name. All right, so now we're gonna put the little sayings that we have for each one of the kids underneath their name. So we came up with some special sayings for each of them. So for Blakely, we're gonna say the years of your life through our eyes. That way, when she opens up her box, she's gonna open it, and before she reads her letters, you're gonna see Blakely, and then the years of your life through our eyes. Okay, Bakey, we're all done with yours. Do you wanna show them? So cute. All right, so let's put it on your box. Perfect. Now I'm going to do Sissy Briars. All right, and then for Briars, we have her name here. Um, and then hers is gonna say a walk down memory lane. So with her box, it's actually gonna work out really well. When you open it, it goes here first. So we're gonna put our name here. And then when we open it, it's gonna say a walk down memory lane here. And then her letters are in there. Obviously we've already started letters cause she's one. We did a couple months ago. So her one year old letters are already in here. We would have her help, but she is knocked out. So we're gonna let her take a nap. We will surprise her when she wakes up. All right guys, so this morning Blakely has requested for me to make some cinnamon rolls. So let's start making some cinnamon rolls. Can you please make cinnamon rolls? Yeah, we can make some cinnamon rolls, baby. I'm gonna make them with you. Oh, you're gonna help me? And baby to help me. Oh, who is that? Baby Clarabelle. Oh, baby Clarabelle. This stroll will her sleep. Oh, she's been sleeping in the stroller? I don't see the stroller, her sleep in her trip. Well, I just showed you. Okay. This way. Right here. Oh. You knocked down the bath and body thing. Oh, I put it back in. Right here. Oh, right there? Yep, that's her way of sweets. Oh, was she crying? She was crying for one second, and they were real sweet. Oh, oh. All right, baby. I can get her out. It does. Not. Oh, so sweet. Okay, so while Blakely is getting baby Clarabelle out, let's start on the cinnamon rolls. I just dropped her. Oh, you dropped your baby? Oh. Is she okay? Okay, let's make some of those. Make my baby. Gotcha. I just need that. Squeeze, squeeze. Oh. 
heart. It was just It opened. It did. <laughs> it did. Oh, there's more on there. Are you going to give Clarabelle a lick? <laughs> okay, so the cinnamon rolls are on the pan and ready to go in the oven, right? <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> These are the best cinnamon rolls ever. They sure are, bacon tater. They're yummy. They're yummy. They're, They're yummy. very yummy. Yeah. Mm, that's a 10. So since baby Grady's been here, I've tried to get the girls out and be quiet to let Lainey sleep a lot in the morning because she does not get a lot of sleep at night because Grady's up all the time. So for her to get a lot of sleep means that we're gonna have a good day. Now we got my the shim, shim rolls. We got to get ready for today. This is our version of dressed and ready to go to Gigi's. We do have some family over at Gigi's house and unfortunately they do leave tomorrow and we can't wait to go spend some time with them before they leave. And yeah, that's what we're doing today. All right guys, we just got home from Gigi's and now it's time to get the girls in bed because they are knocked out. All right, so we are back home from Gigi's house. We all had a super, super fun time spending time with Aunt Mandy and Keats. And Blakely had a good time in the pool with her little Keats. And this is how that went. What kind of fruit and vegetables are you eating? Um, tomatoes. Oh, tomatoes. I eat tomatoes. Oh, that is delicious. I eat tomatoes. Oh, are you? Yep. Do you know what your red sauce is made out of? Yeah. Tomatoes. Yep. <laughs> Then after a nice little swim, we had to go downstairs and feed our little fishy friends. So this is our little stingray and she is absolutely crazy. And we know she's a she because she did pop out a little baby stingray. We've got our little lionfish and some other little fishies fighting over seaweed in the back. Then we've got our little dory and our brand new friend, the clown trigger. Then we've got these three little fishies fighting over some more seaweed. And all these fish just have a super good time whenever we come down and give them their food for the day. And this is our little spiky pufferfish. And then here's our second lionfish just chilling. And then our stingray loves coming up to the top of the water and splashing water outside of the tank because that's how he gets his food. And this is our little porcupine pufferfish and he's super friendly and curious for everything. So now that we're home, the girls are dead asleep in their beds and it is now time to hit the hay. So if you guys like today's video, please smash that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.